As tile manufacturing technologies have advanced, so have the sizes of tiles being produced and sold globally. We're not that far away from a time where a 12 inch by 12 inch tile was considered large format. Now the most common shapes and sizes of tile on the market are 12 inch by 24 inch rectangular tiles and plank shaped tiles that are often 6 inches wide by 36 to 48 inches in length. If you think this is a dramatic change, consider that there are now 5 foot by 10 foot porcelain panels that are being produced and installed every day around the world. That's a topic for a different day, but it illustrates how far the industry has advanced in a relatively short period of time. A tile is considered large format if it has one side greater than 15 inches in length. This distinction significantly changes the requirements for the substrate preparation and the installation of these tiles. ANSI standards for substrate flatness for smaller tiles specify a quarter inch in maximum variation over 10 feet and an eighth of an inch over two feet. For large format tile, the ANSI standard calls for an eighth of an inch in maximum variation over 10 feet and a sixteenth of an inch over two feet. This means that you need to pay special attention to the flatness of your substrate and be sure to prepare it accordingly. MAPE has a full suite of surface preparation products that can help you achieve a flat substrate. You also need to pay attention to the tile mortar you select if you're installing a large format tile. Large and heavy tile mortars, or LHT mortars, were once referred to as medium bed mortars. These are thin set bonding mortars for ceramic and stone tile that have been specially formulated to minimize slump and facilitate a thicker bond coat. These thicker bond coats, which should never exceed more than a half inch after the tile is embedded, are helpful in achieving the required mortar coverage. Tiles are allowed to have some warpage, which means they're not completely flat. So this is another reason why a thicker bed can be useful as tiles get larger. Another concern is slump, which can occur if the mortar is not designed for thicker beds or heavier tiles. This can manifest as a sunken edge or corner on a tile which creates an unsightly lippage and possibly even a trip hazard. New additions to the ANSI standards allow for an H designation to identify mortars that are appropriate for large and heavy tile installations. There are other considerations beyond substrate preparation and mortar selection as you plan out your project, and we are here to help. Please visit our website or call us at 800-992-6273 for help in selecting the right installation materials for your project.